Go-Go has been a unifying music genre in the Washington DC era for three generations and has been something that has brought the African American community together. For years, DC has been a common city known for black talent and many black historians, artists, poets, and musicians we all know about today came from Washington DC. DC is a center for black excellence as we have the only historically black college, which is Howard University, which has produced many great black entertainers. This, in my opinion, gave DC the name Chocolate City. Go-Go music was founded in the early 70s by Chuck Brown, who was mainly known as the godfather of Go-Go, and he inspired many young African Americans to start their own bands on street corners and local neighborhoods, which branched out to become one of the most performed bands in the district. With a syncopated rhythm and the sound of chop with funk beats playing on congos and buckets generates a sound that keeps the community hungry for more. Go-Go has a special inheritance that will only be played in DC and nowhere else. Recently, over the past 15 years, DC has been experiencing changes as black communities have been torn down and replaced with new modern homes with being pushed out of their city from rent becoming extremely high in most areas, leaving residents no option but to leave. Last year in 2019, DC's gentrification rate was getting so out of hand that non-residents were getting tired of go-go music being played on street corners and have go-go music removed from DC. Local residents were not very happy with this and came together and protested against gentrification. Everything got so out of hand that local residents signed a petition to have go-go music to still be played on the corner of 7th and Florida Avenue, which were the main in you know, 14th and U Street, organized by an organization known as Long Live Go-Go DC to hold pe peaceful protests by having go-go concerts throughout the entire year to fight against gentrification. I recently sat down with the founder of Long Live Go-Go, Justin Johnson, who goes by the name of Yadia, to discuss what impact Go-Go has on DC, how it fits into the black culture, and why this movement was started. Here, one, because it was created here in DC, and a lot of people knew DC for Go-Go music, and before the internet was as you know popular as it is now, people knew different areas for their offering, you know, their culture. Like I always say, you could tell a person that was from the Midwest by the way they dress or talk. Tell, you know, if they're from New York, like hip hop is music from New York. So like I say, that's music from New Orleans. New Orleans, DC is music from excuse me, Go -Go is music from DC. So like I say, it's basically the foundation I feel to black culture. Granted it just emerged in like the seventies and DC does have a rich culture prior to that. I just think in the last 50 years though, Gogo has, like I said, been the foundation for uplifting the black community. Right. Americans and other race ethnicities demonstrating peace and unity. Go-Go continues to prosper and will continue to grow as a genre nationally for what it is known as the only musical genre played in Washington. Go-Go, till this day, will continue to be a positive impact for the DC community and will continue to be an inspiration for black culture in many other aspects and be an advocate for social justice, equality, peace, and unity.